surgery that shocked and intrigued people around the world. Two years ago, French doctors performed the very first human face transplant. Now, one of the lead surgeons is sharing intimate details about the ups and downs of the operation. Isabelle Dinois was severely disfigured in May of 2005 by her dog. Surgeons grafted the lips, nose, and chin of a brain-dead woman onto Dinois' face. Despite two early rejections, the groundbreaking surgery is considered a success. And during an emotional presentation today at Advocate Lutheran General Hospital, Benoit Lengel revealed the painstaking plans and the grueling process involved in that transplant. He says the results are far beyond their expectations, and he believes it was their duty to help this woman. There was a big fear for rejection, immunological rejection, and the other fear was that the patient would not accept a dead face, a face coming from a dead. In fact, that's not a dead face. The face graft is connected to the nerves, it is connected to the, to the brain of the patient. It functions in relationship with the, her emotions, with her feelings, so it, it really belongs to the patient. We love to do it. We stand on the shoulder of those before us, and Dr. Langelet is certainly the pioneer in this field. We are happy to learn from him. Pretty amazing, and because of patient privacy and the graphic content, cameras were not allowed in for that presentation. Both doctors say it's not a matter of if a face transplant will eventually be performed in the United States, but when.